Hey, good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, the Tuesday of Halloween week. And are you excited? I am. Good morning, everyone. It is time for our meal one here. Let me see here. I've got uh, scrambled eggs. I use three scrambled eggs. I've got some uh, pork belly that I re up in the oven. And I got myself a couple slices here of my egg bread with a pat of butter on it. And, of course, as always, my coffee and my water with electrolytes. So there we go. Easy, simple, meal one, classic breakfast, you know, uh, pork belly and eggs. I guess it's sort of classic. It's like bacon and eggs, but better. Well, right now. So I will talk to you all later this afternoon. It's going to be real short today because I have a giant block of meetings. So a big topic, probably not on today's agenda. We'll just do meals in and out, share what you've got going on. I did hear yesterday that we want to talk about the uh, nutrients, uh, or well, minerals, minerals and supplements. So we will get that on the agenda, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. So let's take a few minutes here to talk about magnesium. I'm not going to go like super deep, but just enough for us to uh, get conversations started. So... Uh, because we talk about electrolytes a ton during uh, ketogenic forums and in our groups and all kinds of stuff. And one of those electrolytes is magnesium. And since we talked about sleep yesterday and we talked a little bit about uh, magnesium playing a role in that, I thought it would be good to sort of get into that a little bit today. So one of the things that you should know about magnesium is it's the fourth most abundant mineral in our bodies. So our bodies really love magnesium. Uh, it's involved in like hundreds of metabolic reactions, uh, less than 500, but I don't think it's as low as, you know, 200. It's, it's, it's a lot. So, and that, so that makes it very, very essential for our overall health. It helps us with energy production, uh, nerve signal transmits, transmissions, um, muscle contractions, uh, blood pressure regulation, all kinds of stuff. And uh, being low in magne magnesium uh, is linked to all kinds of stuff as well, uh, especially things like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, mood disorders, migraines, uh, all that kind of fun stuff that is not very fun at all. But... Uh, you might notice some cor correlations there uh, based on people who also benefit very heartily from a ketogenic food plan. So that is uh, just another little tickler for your book of why magnesium might be useful for you. I will also let you know that uh, a lot of the human populace winds up low in magnesium because even though we uh, try hard to take intake it through our food, and yes, you should be able to get enough of everything you need from your food, but as we know, uh, it's not always 100% possible. And uh, humans are, we are who we are, and we don't always uh, do everything perfect. So it is why we sometimes have to turn to supplementation. So you should know that uh, there are about 10 different types of magnesium. So sometimes as you go through uh, the supplements, it's very, very confusing. Uh, but the kind of magnesium that we talk about in ketogenic food plans is magnesium citrate. It's a form of magnesium that binds with citric acid. Uh, the acid is usually found in uh, citrus fruits, uh, things that give you that uh, sour and tart flavor. But it can also be used, and citric acid is used in a lot of foods. Um, magnesium citrate, it's a, it, it's really easily absorbed by the body 
it becomes it's the most bioavailable form of magnesium so which is why it's uh, important that that's the version that we take uh, it's important that uh, you make sure that you have enough it's sometimes given to people to treat constipation you got to be careful you will know if you take too much because then it will cause the opposite effect of constipation and that is no fun just remember that if that does happen to you you just need to back it off a little bit but by no means don't rubber band back to back to not enough just back it off a little bit at a time and your body will regulate uh, the other thing is uh, magnesium has been shown to uh, help with your uh, rest uh, it's uh, calming that's why it also is associated low magnesium levels with depression and anxiety however do not think I'm advocating this as a treatment for depression and anxiety that isn't proven out yet by science that's research in progress so uh, and also disclaimer I am NOT a medical doctor you will hear this every single day I do not even play one on TV don't make medical decisions based on things you hear on the internet use the things you hear on the internet to talk to your medical professional and to do some research give yourself a catalyst to build yourself a foundation so that you can ask informed questions uh, magnesium citrate is a uh, it's one of the more popular types of magnesium supplements so that should make it a little bit easier for you however there's also magnesium oxide that is a salt that combines with magnesium and ox oxygen it's uh, usually sold in powder or capsule forms this doesn't usually do much to uh, with magnesium deficiencies and it's kind of uh, not absorbed real well by your digestive system so however it does help with things like heartburn and indigestion so that and sometimes uh, they think that it kind of helps a little bit with uh, slowing or easing up with migraines so that's why some doctors will recommend that you take it so and by no means don't take all of these magnesiums at once you will make yourself sick not in a fun way at all not that there's ever a fun way to be sick but you know what I mean that's SAS so uh, those are the two primary kind of magnesiums I can tell you then you know there's uses for everything but uh, you know like the next one there's a uh, magnesium chloride that's a magnesium salt it uh, binds well with other things including salt so it's a uh, it is absorbed in your digestive tract it's kind of just like a it helps again with the, so the constipation but it's not as uh, nutritious as the citrate uh, some people think that if you rub the magnesium chloride on your skin it'll help with sore muscles but there's literally no scientific evidence to prove that so you're kind of just uh, spending some extra money oh uh, let's see what's next uh, let's see magnesium malate this one is out on the market a lot and uh, it gets confused with the magnesium citrate uh, it contains malic acid again uh, naturally occurring in uh, fruits and uh, wines it has a that acidy sour taste as well so it's often used to, as a food additive however while it is well absorbed uh, it, and it can help with your magnesium levels it's not as optimum as the citrate uh, it is sometimes considered a bit uh, more gentle on your digestive system so if you are having uh, uh, too much of a laxative effect and just backing it off uh, uh, doesn't help you and you're still having issues but you still need more magnesium because your levels are low uh, you can try magnesium malate uh, it is often given to patients again with uh, chronic fatigue syndrome to help them rest more in the evening but once again that's another unproven statement that doesn't have the scientific evidence there are again I think that was only like four types of magnesium there's like nine more but basically it gives you the gist uh, you want to take magnesium citrate to help with your deficiencies and to help keep your uh, electrolytes uh, level because of the bioavailability 
it ha there is tons and tons of science shown that it is highly effective for uh, so many things. Uh, and again, uh, I lost track of what I was saying. We want to make sure that it is just, uh, it's really, you want it. You want to supplement it. I'm sorry, I've just lost complete track of where I was. So again, it's good for you if you've got type 2 diabetes, heart disease, uh, migraines, and because a majority of Western civilization uh, is magnesium deficient. So if you've got muscle twitches at night because you exercise real hard, the answer is magnesium. Uh, if you get frequent headaches, you probably need magnesium. Uh, if you are like super, super hardcore craving chocolate, the answer is not chocolate, it's magnesium. That's what your body's asking for. Uh, so that is my little, uh, oh, my cocktail napkin uh, pie in the sky sized uh, take on magnesium. Ask me more questions because, again, I'm just like flying off the cuff here and I probably could actually organize some notes and give you a really nice clean rundown of things. But when we're just sort of winging it, it gets all scattered like this. You want magnesium citrate. And if you don't mind how yucky it is, I'll tell you that that is what the plain magnesium is from Keto Chow. So it gives you that oral uh, uh, ingestion, which makes it uh, more quickly to absorb. And your body can use it so much better than uh, all the other kinds. So there you go. And I hope that you have an amazing day. Don't forget to take your magnesium. It's yucky, but it works. So have a good one, everyone. Hello, here we are, ready for meal number two. I have a couple uh, oversized meatballs, or if you want to call them mini meatloafs, whichever you prefer. They're basically the same thing So and that I had smoked. I have a rolled omelet, and then I have, uh, I cut, I took a single serving of the little egg white bread and cut it into four extra small pieces, top them with butter. I have a plain sparkling water uh, seltzer. So that is my meal too. And that'll be the rest, that's my food for the day. And I will talk to you tomorrow. I hope that you are having an awesome, amazing day because you deserve it. Thanks. Bye-bye.